Hi, welcome to Nanny's Country Treasures. It's Joanna and Gabriel here. Um, finally got my grandson, and we are going to... He wants to DIY with me, so the easiest thing I know for him to do is make a <laughs> is make a glitter ornament. So I'm going to show y'all how I make glitter yes. ornaments. Um, so let me move the camera, and we'll just get started. Okay, to do these ornaments... You can get these pretty much any craft store anywhere. These are the ones from Hobby Lobby, but um, he didn't want to use the round ones. So we've got these flat ones, and I got these at the Dollar Tree. Um, you can get these at the craft stores too, anywhere. Stop, boy. But you just need to pull your, pull your tops off. And then you're going to need extra fine glitter. I usually get mine at Walmart. So you're going to need your glitter. Mm -hmm. You're going to need, this is in a jar, but it's polycrylic and it comes in a can. But I just put mine in a jar. My top of my can was rusting because it was a big, bigger metal can. But you need your polycrylic, and I always use matte polycrylic. You'll not want the spray, you want to use this. I use tape just to hold any of the size balls. You need a funnel for the glitter. You can use stickers, you can use vinyl, you can use paint markers. And I use one of these Tony's turkey basters because I um, always buy two of these at Thanksgiving. So, I only use one, so I always have one left over, and they come in handy for crafting, and Gabe is going to help me. Um, he's going to squirt this in when I draw it up. Okay, so we're going to get some of this and try, 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 try not to have bubbles. Bubbles are not your friend. So, he's going to squirt this slow until I tell him to stop. Do you need both hands? Yeah. Slow, slow, slow. Stop. Yeah, set yeah. this down. Now, you want to take and roll this and coat your whole ornament without it coming out. Okay? You don't want any of this to come out. But you want to coat your whole ornament because this is what your glitter is going to stick to. And the, the round ones are a little bit easier. And the round ones, I also have those little red shot cups. You can buy those at the Dollar Tree. You can also buy them at Walmart. I saw those today. But these ornaments will not stand up in any of the cups. Once you have it coated, you just let it drain. And then you do this to however many yeah. you want. Make sure it drains really good. And I'm going to coat the rest of my, my balls here, or half balls or Christmas ornaments, whatever you want to call them. We're going to coat them and drain them. So now once they're drained, all you're going to do is you're going to take your funnel and you're going to hold it on. Well, if you don't need a funnel, if you can pour your glitter correctly but I'm messy and so is my grandson so we're using a funnel pour all that glitter in there Duh. Duh. now just Duh. shake it around make sure it don't come out the top yeah there you go don't don't let it come out on your hand now Stop, and I'll show you something, okay? What? What can I get? Tell, what His I... sister's is going to be purple. <laughs> okay. Yep. You can take your hand, put it over top of it, cover your hole, and shake it real good, okay? Make sure your hand's over your top real tight. 
<laughs> you're tight. Get it on the bottom. You want to shake them real, real good. Make sure it's all coated. If you use the thicker glitter, it, it will leave spots on your uh. ornament, and it will look terrible. And there you go. That's all there is to it. And it's all coated. You can shake out any excess glitter right back into your container, if you have any. I have any. I am making a mess. I can put mine. You can hold it up to the light and make sure there's no, you know, real bad see-through gaps because you, you really don't want that. Oh, he used a funnel. He's smarter than his G-Mom, I tell you what. Oh. Oh, oh I thought, oh, we all make messes. It's okay, buddy. We'll get it later. Well, you got it all. Little teeth. And it's all coated. Yeah. Now, we have them all done. And... I set them in tape and this will hold them straight so I can either write on them or add vinyl or stickers or whatever I want to do. Now, do you want stickers or you just want me to write Gabe on yours? Uh, but stickers. Stickers. He wants stickers. Ooh. And you can use water in this. You can. Yeah. Now, the Ooh. tricky part is to get your stickers on straight and your vinyl. Um, I will do one with vinyl and show you how, how that works, uh, how you cut your vinyl. So, you don't want glitter, do you? No. You want me to do yours in vinyl? Yeah. So it's not glitter? Okay. Let me do that and let him choose his font and all that, and I'll be right back. Okay. So he chose this font, which is pretty good. Pretty good size font. And there's my husband, so there's going to be a lot of racket. Now you're going to want to put this on here, and you want to cut. I, I'm using paper transfer tape because it is more forgiving than the other. Okay? So you're going to want to cut your tape down. Ew. Don't take those out, babe. I have to have them in there. Why? Because that's how I'm going to hold them while I put the stickers and stuff on. Anyways, you want to cut your transfer tape down as close to your design as you can because you don't want all that tape sticking to your design. So then... What? You will pull this off. Yeah. Oh, shoot a monkey. I was afraid to, to go very hard because I didn't want to rip my cover here. Why do I always... I never have problems with vinyl unless I am videoing, y'all. Like, truly, 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 for real. And then I get this insane crap let me pull this off and I'll be right back he ditched me for his pawpaw y'all so before I put anything on these I just use alcohol and rub them down and while I got them I'm gonna rub them all down you never know what's on these things and I know this is a weird angle but that's because my grandson was over there and I was over here but anyways, you want to make sure it's dry. That's, that's dumb to rub it with alcohol and then rub it with your hand, ain't it? You'll probably hear them in the background. Just saying. So you got your design. And you can just stick it. If it's pretty big, you don't want to do that. I cut slits in my paper. And this allows me to be able to maneuver it. So that I can stick it down. So you'll want to just go right in the middle. 
Stick the middle down, start pressing in the middle and work your way out. These flat ones are way more forgiving than the round ones too. And then once you get it on, you just burnish it a little bit and then pull your transfer tape back. Pushing down as you pull back. He's coming back, y'all. Paul Paul just came in from work and he is going to take a shower. So Gabriel came back in here with me. And there it is. Easy peasy with vinyl. Then all you do is pop your top back on and if you want to add a bow, you just add a bow. You know, tie your ribbon around. Ugh. I hate these things. I can get That one's pulled in. That one's pushed in. Don't push him in, baby doll. Pull him out. Oh, for the love of Pete. I just ball. Now you can just tie ribbon around one of these loops and make your bow on there. So for Nala's, I am just going to write her name on here with a black paint pen. And my writing is not that great, but all you do is just write it on there. You can, and and I, I will put tape on here. Oh no, I don't. For a line, and then just write her name. I did you do it. Oh, I'm both of I messed up her H, but it's okay. It, she'll know her G mom made it for her handmade, bud. Is that her name? Yes, sir. Is this my then name? Then you have that one. And then to stick, to stick stickers on, I am also going to use a piece of tape. And then I use tweezers. This is the easiest way is to pop them up with tweezers and place them down because I get a better accuracy and I do not have to touch it as much. I don't know that crazy dog so I'm gonna stick all my stickers on and then I'll show you what they look like when I'm done so here is what they look like finished and I ended up putting vinyl on all of them because my handwriting totally stinks y'all so the vinyl looks better and then the stickers look good on the purple one when I was putting my granddaughter's name on there but it did not have all the numbers for the 2021, so I just went with vinyl, and then I tied a bow on there. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to my channel, and ring that bell to be notified every time I upload a video. I'll catch you next time. You are a blessing. Goodbye.